Go Alright, so this is another episode of Keep That Shit 100. You see my face right now. I'm the same way I was the last video. <laughs> so, the name of this episode today is Do You Know Your Emotional Level? Mad you? Mad you? My ass start this shit off normally. But that shit ain't gonna happen today. So, the fuck this nigga flop over here laughing. I'm laughing behind his ass. I don't even know what the fuck he's laughing at. Cause you busted, bruh. You I don't even. It. See, look, he gotta be putting me on blast and shit. We gonna talk about that shit later at another date. But, um, yeah, I'm like, oh shit, the light is brighter than a motherfucker. Hey, hey, look, them big ass fingers. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna hand this off to Duff first. Mr. Controversy. Mr. Look Like a Milk Dub. <laughs> the dark skin Caillou. <laughs> but I'm gonna lie. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna go ahead and hand this shit off. I'm gonna get to you later. Caillou! What it do? It's your boy, Mr. Keep That Shit Honey TV himself. And disregard what the IHOP hash brown has just said. You used that one before. And? It's over. <laughs> hey, you just made your debut. Hey, you I made your finale hey, in the hey, same hey, episode. Hey, hey. <laughs> Come on, the fat jokes tonight. But, I like hash Mr. Burnt Coffee and Toasty looking ass. Burnt Toasty Coffee time. I get it. Oh, I get it. No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look. She know what it is. No, turn no, turn it on. Not yet. Turn this one. That way, nigga. Why do you want to turn it to What up? What up? Keep that shit 100 TV debut. You got that. Got that. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. For this nigga, look, we already two and a half minutes in. And this. Maybe he can turn the motherfucking camera on the back camera and not the front. Hello? Hey! I'm ordering that. I can't take the camera. Or at least the food stamp card for his back. Nah, even with even Sorry, I ain't got no food stamp carb in it, but you know, even with the joint open, you I can still can't it's it's at it's apple shit. But um yeah, even with the midi like I said, it's two thirty two two minutes and thirty seconds in. Yeah, I'm fried, but um Flop already give a shout outs to himself. He can't do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, this is just your first episode. We need you to calm down. That's right. You need to do what you need to do. Hey, we it's need... only your second, so you need to calm it down. Do my sock smash. Hell no. no. One of them. One of them. All right, all right. All right, we, we got to get back on topic. Shit, Fall huh? Sock, summer sock. All right, get back on subject. All right, back on subject. Do you know your emotional Fuck. level? Fuck no. And for the most of the consensus, they do not know their emotional level. For many of reasons. They get mad off other people's opinion. Why do you value said opinion if you don't even value their existence in your motherfucking life? Hello, thank you, huh? Like, I don't understand the, the, the concept of that. Like, you do not value their opinion, but you getting all in your feelings. You getting all hot and bothered. What the fuck? For what? And then you argue with this person. Ladies and gentlemen, Understand this. Shark bait. If you are not fucking said person, they are not worth the argument. And I say this because we all will be submissive for our next nut. <laughs> so, with that being said. This nigga just made the preacher move, though. Just hey, I, yes, I, yeah, I, 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 I had to get dramatic for him and shit. I, I had to do that for the iPhone users and shit. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they like to slow shit down. You know? I'm just slow now. Ain't nobody asked you yet. Um, but, for the most part, do you know your emotional love? Like, now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little emo at times. You're an Aries. Hey! A lot. Hey! You're always emotional. You're an Aries. Hello. That's what we do. Hey, hey guys. So listen. (laughs) Aries are very emotional people. And when the button is pushed, hello. 
Okay, this the ram comes out. Okay, and then we fuck shit up. That's just what happens. You have to do that now. I'm very emotional. No, no. You lied. I just would like to say, you lied. You did not have to do that. You did not have to do that. You really did not have to do that. I'm not an but. We what should have our own emoji. Stop looking like emotional ass. Just doing that. Do not do that. Can you <laughs> see this on your own emoji? All right, there we go. What up, what up, world? You know what it is? It's Mr. It's D the himself. medical marijuana himself. Oh, hello. Okay, thank you. Can you but anyway, um, hey, can hey, you, can you, can you, can you, can you, can you, can you, we don't, we don't, hey. I mean, do you know your emotional level? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Do you know your emotional level? I mean, sometimes, sometimes it depends on what the situation is. It, it, it depends on what the situation is. Because you can have, like, beef or, 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 or you can have, like, a heated argument with somebody, you know. My man Duff is cooked over here. Don't look at me. But, I mean, no, you can't. I mean, from my experience, personal experiences, hell no. I mean, because I go to zero to 100, like, real quick. Like, I can. Man, like, this is another Drake verse giving it, but we're going to leave that alone. <laughs> but you know what? But zero to 100. You know, know. Hey! Let me say talking. this for the female perspective. Please. Coming from the female perspective, it does not. Our emotional place where we are at the time it depends on the situation hello uh, thank you Go ahead. so if we're in a good mood or whatever we're gonna be in a good mood Everybody but knows. it takes one it only takes one little thing to fuck up that mood and once our mood is fucked up it can go from zero to a hundred real motherfucking quick notice, notice larry sitting beside her not moving <laughs> <laughs> like, he like don't move, bro. I, that that nigga know what not to do. I was going to say like this. Don't move. As a dark skin dude, Meek Mill has made our emotional level go very high. No. That he did. Like, Jesus Christ. It was a secret for years. He exposed it like the Illuminati. He, he, just, he just ruined over thousands of years of strong, dark skinned black brothers. Making yeah. it. We just yeah. make fun of a bitch Yikes. to lose to a light skinned singer nigga. Then to lose to a dark skinned poet. In this <laughs> but that's not necessarily Stop true. It. Me. Because Stop if you it. have a real queen by your side, she hey, will love her dark skin. Oh, yeah, but he just ruined it because he got new taste of fresh pussy. Well. <laughs> Alright. Well, let me get back on this shit. Okay. Shit, right now I see uh okay. family texting everybody in the group chat, but we ain't even paying that shit of no attention. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but but Simeon, we 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 understand. Shout out, shout out. Shout out to Simeon. I couldn't make it today. I don't know where the hell my bony ass cousin is. <laughs> yeah, Chantel, I'm talking about you. Like what? Everybody know I throw names out there. I don't need to. Even though my head, my head over here right now looking like a burnt marshmallow, I'm not even tripping. It just looks a little dry. Yeah, I just gotta put some oil in the junk. It looked like some shiny burnt marshmallows, but but not also. Look, yo, just jump back on the phone, man. Jump, man, jump, man, jump. Of the topic. She ready to start shooting something. But uh, yeah, so the topic was, do you know your emotional level? You know, you whisper, but what you still can hear you in family. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see So the episode was about, do you know your emotional level? But this is this is more of my question. Fuck the level. Do you know your emotional weight? You realize mm-hmm. when you leave one relationship, mm-hmm. still harboring them old feelings. You know that's like seventy five pounds attached on get uh, uh, attached on to getting to know you. Like that shit is irritating. Fuck seventy pounds, about one seventy. Yeah, yeah, fuck that one seventy. <laughs> and it, and it, and if you coming over from a relationship just didn't work because y'all didn't know how to communicate, do you not realize that's fifty percent you? So that's another hundred pounds out of two hundred. 
Like real shit, do you know your emotional weight? Like I'm not gonna lie. I don't know mine. I probably weigh like 3,000 pounds. <laughs> emotionally. I've carried on emotions that I've had for, for people for years and sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, it steps in the way of my relationship. your emotional weight don't have to be just your emotional weight. Because therefore, if you're in a committed relationship or you're close with another person, you know what I'm saying? They're mm -hmm. going through something emotionally. Naturally, if you really care for or love that person, you're going to carry on that weight too. So that's double times the amount of emotional weight that you're actually carrying. That's more like 6,000 pounds. Shit. Dang, that's a whole lot of fighting and whooping. I ain't had no one is enough to make a bitch go crazy. Okay, well... No. But let me let let me get back to what I was saying though. Like I'm not gonna lie, like you love your what? You're closing your Xbox, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but no, no. Let me let me get back to what I was saying though. Like Bro, awesome. it's not even his clothes and his Xbox, it's his shoes and his Xbox. Oh shit, that was a mm. shot in the dark. What's your punishment? Hey, don't worry. Hey. I feel you coming. I ain't on that one. Somebody go get some nookie tonight. I am paying myself. He said, I love my shoes and I ask about she so talking about learning. Sometimes, so just now I got what he was saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yo, can I can I finish off the episode, please? I'm so I'm sorry. We had for the interrupted. That's a new word. You good? Because no interruption, it, but I said interrupt tense. Yeah. That's a new word. That's some real shit right there. But now, nah, like, like I'm not gonna lie. Like it's been it's been women that I've loved and I've carried on those emotions for years, and sometimes I shut people out. Yeah. Because I got a man, like if if I count two thousand pounds for every one of them, that's an extra six thousand pounds on top of the twelve hundred I was already carrying. Breaking all elevators. Man, what? I can't even go up in the elevator. Fuck going down. But not like on some real shit. Like I didn't carry that shit for years, and I actually just like recently let one know how I was feeling. But the thing is, like for her, is that that way she. That that right there, that that weight. Let's say if all all of them was two thousand pounds, hers was ten thousand by itself. Mm. Like this mm. shit been. That bitch was big. That bitch, she had that much baggage. You know, you you That's a lot of emotion. Nah, no, no. Hold on, no, no. <laughs> Too I'm not much saying. luggage like Aaliyah's plane. But see, look, this thing. Ten thousand pounds. I can't even travel. Whole time they don't realize. I'm talking about my emotional weight for her. I was ten thousand pounds oh, no, overweight you because, you because, oh, because you, baby. Damn. I was that way because the simple fact that we've been at that shit since like junior high school, and that even to this day, so like, much. and even to this day, it's just like man, I pay more attention to her than I do anybody else. Guaranteeing that nobody else has a notification from my my Instagram when they post shit. I know every time she posts them, I can even tell you the fucking time and date. But on some real shit, man. Know your emotional weight before you step into something. Cause you, if, if your emotional weight is as much as you, is, is as light as you think it is, that may be good. But I guarantee you, it's about ten thousand pounds more than what the fuck you thought it was. But man, I'ma close this shit out. This your boy King Ghost. This keeps that shit 100 TV, man. Fuck y'all. Yeah.